So I'm going to be talking about uh, mitochondrial damage, chemical exposure, and the aging and how these things are related. So uh, the mitochondria, the double membrane, uh, many of the important enzyme activities of the mitochondria take place on the inner membrane. That's where the citric acid cycle takes place where uh, 80 or 90 percent of cellular energy is produced and, and the, the respiratory chain. You see uh, here the complexes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the, uh, this part of the mitochondria inter intermembrane. Uh, these, uh, Okay, the, the complexes, um, uh, and actually this diagram is backwards. It takes uh, reduced NAD and converts it to oxidized uh, NAD, and at the same time a uh, hydrogen ions are moved, and that creates an electrochemical gradient that then in the final step is causes a production of ATP. Uh, diseases, a wide number of diseases of aging are associated with mitochondrial disorder and, and uh, some of uh, pediatric as well. So autism, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, anxiety, chronic fatigue. Exercise intolerance is a good clinical sign of uh, mitochondrial uh, disorders. And mitochondrial disorders can be due to both uh, genetic defect in the mitochondria, and as you, uh, some of you know, the, the mitochondria uh, proteins are coded for both by nuclear DNA and also by mitochondrial DNA. Uh, mitochondrial DNA system is very interesting because the mitochondria is the only place that has a different genetic code uh, than, than everything else in biology use, has exactly the same genetic code with the exception of mitochondrial DNA. There's several of the amino acids are coded for by a different code in the mitochondria. Um, and uh, Parkinson's disease is associated with mitochondrial disorder, bipolar disorder, aging in general, schizophrenia, heart disease, and toxic chemo chemical exposure, all associated with uh, mitochondrial disorder, so it can be either due to genetic factors or to induce factors. The mitochondrial uh, can be damaged by toxic chemicals which cause oxidative stress and destruction of mitochondrial function. Uh, uh, trichloroethylene is one of the most common uh, solvents in our environment. It's widely used in, uh, in, in, as a dry cleaning agent. Uh, but it's also used widely in industry. Almost every kind of industry uses trichloroethylene, and it's highly used in military. So many of the water supplies near military bases throughout the United States and other nations are contaminated with trichloroethylene. Uh, it's estimated that 30% of the water supply in the United States is contaminated with trichloroethylene. Uh, it causes dermatitis, irritation of the nose, eyes, and throat. It can cause depression of the central nervous system. It's associated with dizziness, headaches, increased perspiration, cardiac arrhythmias, renal injury, and also it's carcinogenic. The, the, the town of Toms River, New Jersey, where my uh, parents lived, was a, extremely contaminated by a pharmaceutical company. Uh, that was there that dumped huge amounts of trichloroethylene into the water. This area has air, uh, brain cancer rates that are 10 times that of surrounding areas. Um, the, uh, in the dry cleaning agent, uh, in the dry cleaning business, they often uh, call it by another name, which is perchloroethylene. And the National Institutes of uh, Occupational Safety and Health estimates that uh, 650,000 workers are exposed per year, and it goes into the groundwater. It's, it's a common contaminant in super funds, and it's been shown to play a major role in Parkinson's disease, 
this is the uh, substantia uh, nigra showing the, the um, high amounts of dopamine or the stained area in the brain. This is individual with Parkinson's, of course, with very low amounts of uh, dopamine. Uh, 